Two astronauts stranded in space are finally home. Last night, the pair took off as part of a four person crew for a 17 hour flight back to Earth. The astronauts were on the International Space Station for more than nine months. Cristian Benavides reports from Clearwater, Florida. And splash down crew nine back on Earth. It's the end of a space saga for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams following their extended stay at the International Space Station. Parting Crew 9 crew members posing for some final photos. The Starliner astronauts splashed down off the Florida coast Tuesday, capping off their 286 day space odyssey. Freedom is free of its moorings. It's a long overdue trip for Wilmore and Williams. Last June, they blasted off aboard Boeing Starliner for an eight day research trip. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. But propulsion issues and gas leaks on the spacecraft compelled their extended stay. It looks probably a little cramped and uh, it's actually fairly roomy. In all, the duo orbited the Earth more than 4,500 times and traveled about 121 million miles. Before plunging through the atmosphere, the capsule carrying the astronauts reaches extreme temperatures with its heat shield protecting the crew. Yeah, anyone who enjoys roller coaster rides, it's nothing worse than that. Retired British astronaut Tim Peake faced the heat, G-force and muscle loss after spending time on the space station with the European Space Agency a decade ago. There might be some nausea, some dizziness, some vertigo, um, and your bones and your muscles are getting used to that loading as you stand up and walk around. Wilmar and Williams will undergo medical evaluations and quarantine as they reintegrate to life on Earth. Thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you for being with us. A long-awaited return after an extra-long space group. adventure. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Clearwater, Florida. Williams and Wilmore's replacement crew, led by Commander Ann McLean, launched Friday from the Kennedy Space Center.